Good day, Parks Church. And I just wanted to give a little bit of a, a word of encouragement to us as we enter into this new lockdown season. And in three of the Gospels, we have um, the story of Jesus walking on the water. And in Matthew's Gospel, in um, chapter 14, verse 22, I'm just going to read a little bit here. It says, immediately after this, Jesus insisted that his disciples get back into the boat and cross to the other side of the lake. And while he sent the people home, after sending them home, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. Night fell while he was there alone. So Jesus is up, he's on the mountains, he's alone by himself praying, but his disciples are on the boat on the lake. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble, far away from the land, for a strong wind had risen, and they're fighting heavy waves. About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came towards them, walking on the water. And while the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. In their fear, they cried, it's a ghost. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage, I am here. Then Jesus called to them, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. Yes, come, Jesus said. So Peter went out over the side of the boat and walked on the water towards Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and the waves, he was terrified and he began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. Well, you have so little faith, Jesus said. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped. Then the disciples worshipped him. You really are the son of God, they exclaimed. And all of us now are entering into our own storm. That's the reason for these lockdowns. It's, there's a storm raging on outside all around us. And yet I was reminded by one of my uh, college professors today that although we're all in the same storm, we might not all be in the same boat. Some of us might have yachts. Some of us might have canoes. Our experience of this storm might be different. Some of us might think that we're sinking, whilst others might think this is a breeze. I'm just getting through it easy enough. But let us remember those who might be struggling, those in the canoe rather than those in the yacht. And for the disciples on that day, Jesus had gone up onto the mountain to pray. He was away. He was up there on the mountain. And for us, we might have that same experience. Jesus is up there somewhere. He's ascended. He's ruling and reigning over the cosmos. And yet we're down here in the midst of the storm, in life's storm. And yet what we do here matters. And when they were terrified, they saw him coming towards them. And he says, don't be afraid. Take courage. I am here. And that's just a word that all of us can take. God's silence is not the same as his absence, as Pete Gregg puts it. Just because we can't see God doesn't mean that he's not here among us. Because he is, he's here by his spirit. We are his temple, his church, his body. We are the ark in the midst of the storm. And throughout history, the church has been pictured as the ark, riding over the storm and the waves. If you look at Notre Dame, in fact, it's designed to look like the ark with all of those things coming out the side of it, the, the buttresses to look like oars going out in either direction into the, the river. And it's a picture of the church as the ark of God. And so we can, when we're sinking, like Peter was sinking, he cried, save me, Lord, save me, Lord. When we're sinking, cry out to the Lord. He is where our salvation and our healing and our restoration is to be found. He's where we go when we are sinking. Nowhere else will give us a lifeline. There are no other lifeboats but him alone. And so... Just thinking about that, the movie uh, Evan Almighty and how Ark in that film is said to portray acts of random kindness. Let us remember through this storm those who might be on different boats from us, those who might whose experience of this storm might be different from our own experience. 
and let us live in acts of random kindness towards everyone we meet, especially to the household of faith, especially to those in our own church. Let us live in acts of random kindness. So why not text someone from our congregation? Why not send them a little email or a note? Why not send them a video message or an audio recording of you just praying for them? Or order them a gift online or whatever it might be. This is a time where we can do those acts of random kindness and build up one another as all of us are going through the storms of this season. Let us remember those who are poorly um, and those who are worried, those who have COVID um, and those who are now homeschooling as well. And let us lift them up to the Lord. I'm just going to pray. Heavenly Father, we just bring all of our community to you now, Lord. We pray that you would be with us, you would strengthen us and empower us with your presence. May you be with us now. Amen.